hey what's up guys uh, hope you're doing well so guys finally my ad limit problem has been resolved um, for three days okay uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you some tips that how you can remove your ad limit issue uh, my English is not very well but um, I'll try to explain this in English because uh, some of my subscribers uh, do not understand any other language so that's why I'm making uh, in video a video in English okay so I'll try to explain that how you can remove your ad limit as you can see that today I just earned little bit but yesterday I earned um, a little more and uh, as you can see that my match rate which is very important uh, that is increased uh, I think for three days as you can see 16 March 17 March and 18 March it is the uh, same 58 year almost 60 percent okay so I'm gonna explain that uh, how you can remove your air limit issue is uh, my air limit was for almost one year uh, as you can see here uh, my air limit was placed 28 June 2020 okay and now it is March 2021 so almost uh, one year I will I would call it so uh, when I just like examine that uh, I have some issues in my application so I just try to resolve these that issues and now my air limit is being removed uh, and this notification will be soon uh, just removed by airmove team so let me just uh, refresh this page so you will see uh, that these uh, results are not fake these are genuine results uh, you can see so <clears throat> let me show you the first uh, let me show you first today so far earnings uh, statistic uh, here you can see that my today's earning is not that much because of ECPM low ECPM 0.16 and my match rate is almost 84 so that that's the big point that is the main point that all of the developers uh, want to have so let me start by explaining some things which uh, you would consider the first thing uh, first thing I will just uh, explain that do not just make an application and uh, integrate your aid mode uh, aids and just upload it on Play Store I'll suggest you that uh, make an application, uh, build your audience uh, up to 10,000 or 5,000 active users. So if you have a lot of uh, like uh, your audience is, uh, has been just uh, more than 5,000 aid requests per day or 6,000 or 10,000 but 5,000 aid requests per day so then you have to just uh, add more just like take aids from aid mob ticket take aids from aid mob or uh, you can say that take aids from any other so if your audience if your application don't have downloads uh, like you know, more than 5,000 or more than 10,000 and you don't have uh, like mm, maximum number of active user so don't integrate any of aids because aidmob not allow that thing aidmob will just place aids on your uh, place a limit on your uh, application and you will suffer and your time will be totally wasted okay so the first point is don't directly integrate aidmob aids in your application before your application uh, just got 5,000 downloads or 10,000 downloads or maximum number of active users so that's the first point now the second point is you need to be constant uh, I mean that if you just uh, integrate aid more ads in your application uh, and you just go for advertisement so when you do advertisement so there is a little aid request uh, came through your uh, Edmob 
uh, account like uh, for example if you just publish your application on play store and you go for uh, advertisement so when you advertise your application so you will get a uh, maximum number of uh, ad request per day I mean, let's suppose if you don't advertise the, your application on the second so you will get only uh, like 5000 I guess or 1000 or 2000 so there is a big difference that one day you get 10,000 aid request and the second day you just get 10,000 aid request The second day you need to have 10,000 or 11,000 or 9,000 requests in that day and the, uh, like same for uh, you need to be constant okay so if you are constant so your aid limit will be removed if, you can see that, uh, if I show you uh, the statistic of last seven days so here you can see that my aid request just like I mean constant okay here you can see constant ad requests are just placing uh, day by day okay so you need to be constant if you are constant so your aid request your aid limit will be uh, soon removed and my aid limit is uh, removed in seven days when I just ex uh, just like examine things and uh, just go to the point okay. the next thing I uh, want to explain is, uh, which is a very big mistake uh, user made let me uh, just explain it by an application so just I'm searching um, application okay so this is an application <coughs> so the next thing I'm gonna explain it it is about aid placement so you need to have a, like aid placement uh, in a very uh, in a such a manner do not create invalid traffic now invalid traffic by means that let's suppose you have an application which have four activities and you just placed ad request uh, you just placed aids banner ad on each of the activity okay so first time when someone just open your application so uh, he will just uh, like open uh, each activity and he will just like uh, take time on that activities okay so first time when he open your application he she open it uh, open your application so she will stay on each of your activity okay so let's suppose I open an application so I will just stay on this application and look what is uh, here TK uh, in this application as well I'll just take time on this and this application in this uh, activity I will also take time on these all of these activities now the second time when I open an application, so I'll uh, just uh, like I uh, known all the things that which activity have which things. Okay, so now the second time or the third time when I open an application, so I'll just uh, like directly go to the main point. Directly go. Let's suppose my point. Uh, I want to open my courses activity. So I will just like when I open an application. Uh, go to direct to my course activity so as you placed banner added this activity this activity and this activity so three aid request on the same time will be uh, go to aid more uh, your aid move account okay and this will call is uh, invalid traffic because in, on the same time three requests are just uh, go to your aid move account like for aids so this will create your ad limit and this will create your ad limit issue so my suggestion is you need to just uh, you are just like use uh, fragments in your application and if you use fragments so uh, all of the application will be divided in fragments so here you will place only one banner ad on all of your application so this will not create any like invalid traffic because all of your application will have only one banner ad 
and this banner ad automatically just uh, automatically refresh uh, after one minute the main point uh, which and also there is one thing more that your ECPM will be high if you are using only one banner ad on the whole of your application okay so just uh, add your um, add one banner ad at the top and other application will be just like uh, below the banner ad so then uh, your application whenever someone just use your application so how much time he spent on your application you will have your aid placed uh, on the top of your application. So this is the main point which will increase your ECPM as well and also uh, your end limit issue. <laughs> your ad limit issue will be resolved now if you have any question uh, if you have any queries uh, so just uh, you can ask me uh, in comment section my english is not very well but i just um, examine things and i just uh, wanted to explain it in english because some of my subscribers just asked uh, for english and um, they sometimes just uh, dislike my videos for not being in the English language or not in a particular language that they understood so hope you guys uh, understood these things and if you have any queries any problems so you can ask me in the comment section so see you in the next video see you a lot